Hey guys, how's it going today? My name is Jaker. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use DaVinci Resolve 16 to get those cinematic bars on your footage, otherwise known as letterboxing. We're going to be using the color page. Check it out. All right, here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. We're on the edit page. That's where we're going to start out. Um, we have a couple clips here. Just going to drag these into the timeline. What we're trying to achieve is the letterbox effects. You'll notice on this, this is just a format that this, this was shot. This is a 1080 timeline. So in order to up res this a little bit, we're going to have to just zoom in. Build a frame. Now we're filling the frame. This is 4K footage, so we have the pixel to zoom in on it a little bit. All right, as this comes in here, say just before they split, we want to add those bars. We want to add the animated letterbox bars or the so-called cinematic bars. So right about there is where we want it, the bars to be, to be there. So it's really easy. A couple ways to do it. A lot of people like to do the cropping method. Only problem with the cropping method is that you have to do it to either each clip or you have to go in and do it to an adjustment clip and then worry about the adjustment clip. Uh, and you can kind of add them in like this. So if you did 131.5 on both sides on the top and bottom, um, like this. So that's something how, how it would look. I mean, 131.5, but type in the number, right? And you can achieve the look like that, but when you add in, when you drop in a new clip, your next clip's not gonna, not gonna be looking like that. So it then resets to the next clip. So if you fill the frame with this clip, you can see that you either have to do that to all of them or you have to put an adjustment clip down and then do that to the adjustment clip. So, I mean, that is a way to do it. A lot of people do prefer doing it that way. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a little different way to do it. So we just, we can uh, reset this here, reset all the keyframes, takes that away. We're going to go into the color page, reset this. So this is normally how it'll be when you first come into the color page. Go ahead and go to timeline. And then the second to last one here is the sizing. And once you're on timeline up here in the top right corner, you'll see output sizing. Now we don't, we want to have them ease in. So we're going to go over here to the keyframes and we're going to decide that right about there is where we want, want it to have the cinematic bars, the letterboxing the 2.35, 2.39, call it however you want. So in order to do that, we do actually have to do a little math. Okay, so the math goes, so if we have a 1080 timeline, then our horizontal width is gonna be 1920. And what we wanna do is a 2.35 aspect ratio. So what we have to do, math goes a little bit like this. Take the width of 1920 and you divide it by 2.35. So if you do that, you got 1920 divided by 2.35, and that'll give you 817. Now, what you do is if you have a 1080, which that is your height in a 1080p timeline. That's the height of the frame. We'll remove 817, and that'll give us the difference. So if you subtract, take 1080 and subtract the 817, you'll get 263. Now that's the dead space that'll be that you have total in the frame. Now in order to get the values of the top and bottom, all you have to do is divide that by two and you're left with 131.5. That is gonna be the size of the, that you're gonna be blanking out on the top and bottom of your, of your video to give it that aspect ratio. So what you wanna do here is down here at the blanking, we're gonna change this. So we're gonna to go to the point in our timeline where we want it to fully be there. So we'll, let's say just before they split, we want it to be right there. So if we right click, we can add a dynamic keyframe. 
and then we're going to change the the top we want to blank it 131.5 and then the bottom you have to subtract 131.5 from 1080 so if you take 1080 and you subtract 131.5 you're left with 948.5 948.5 and there it is. So now you'll see that that actually carries on over into the next clip, even though we only did it once. So the entire timeline will have this output sizing of a 2.35 aspect ratio. Now, if you want to animate it, change this first one, right click it, this first keyframe at the very beginning of your project, add dynamic keyframe, and just drop these back to zero in 1080 respectively. And now as you play, you'll notice that they, they kind of ease in there, just like that. And then you'll notice that it falls through into the next clip. And then if we wanted to open back up, simple as adding another keyframe, add dynamic keyframe where you want it to start opening. And you'll notice in between here, we didn't change anything. So it's going to stay at the 2.35 aspect ratio. But then right about there, we want it to be you know, take up the entire frame again. We don't want that aspect ratio. So we'll add a dynamic keyframe and we'll just open this back up. And then now if you scroll through, you'll see that starts, opens back up. Easy as that. Super simple. Like I said, I know there's the cropping method. I find that this way just makes a lot more sense. That way you can go specifically in your timeline and find where you want to do it. And you don't have to worry about if you have multiple clips or then you go to edit or say you do, you add the bars and you go, oh, well, I don't really like that clip. I want to add another clip. Super easy to just change out the clips because watch, if we go back to our edit tab and say we want to replace this clip with the beginning of this clip again. So we'll just hit I for in and then O for out. And we drop this just anywhere in here. It's still going to have that same aspect ratio. So it's still got that 2.35 aspect ratio in there. And I just find that that's um, been the easiest and most useful way to use the aspect ratio in DaVinci Resolve 16. Now there's also one more way. So we can actually, if we go to the color page and we remove all these. So what you do is go back to your timeline up here, go to timeline, hit the plus button. You can see them all, we'll delete all these. And what you can actually do So when you're in your timeline, you can, if you go up to the top menu bar and you click timeline, well, the only problem is this is a little out of frame, but you'll go into, and you go to output blanking. So I'll, I'll, I'll record this on the side here and add it to the clip, but you'll see that you'll go up top into the menu bar, you go to timeline and you go to output blanking, and then you can choose the aspect ratio you want to use in this case, 2.35. And it's actually going to add it to the whole timeline. Now this is helpful if you want the whole project to be like that, but I haven't necessarily found a way where it allows you to add keyframes and go kind of give you that effect where it eases in and out. So, um, well actually we'll change that. I'll put blanking, just go to reset. And yeah, so that's how you add the cinematic bars, AKA letterboxing, AKA a 2.35 aspect ratio to your project in DaVinci Resolve 16. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if this was helpful to you. I know it's just a quick little tip, but I figured I needed to know how to do it. And there wasn't many options available besides the, the cropping factor. And I just thought that that didn't make the most sense. So anyways, leave me a comment down below. And if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, if you do want to see more videos like this, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.